Hi, this is Max from Linamixes. In this video, I will explain how to track in real time in Unity. To track in real time, you will need Grabber software in its enhanced version. After this tutorial, you should be able to stream in Unity the expression you're tracking and retarget them in real time to your 3D character's face. Before we start, you must make sure you have prepared your retargeting profile so it can be animated in real time. To do so, check out our Preparing Your Targeting Profile for Real-Time tutorial. You must also make sure you have a proper FBX version of your 3D character. I'll go ahead and open Unity and import my 3D character with these textures. So, when you have your character imported in FBX format in your Asset folder, don't forget to add the textures and shaders. Then, drag it and slide it directly to your scene. You should have access to a folder named Previs downloaded from the links that were emailed to you after the trial request. There are three different scripts in this folder. Just slide the script called Previs on your character's root in the scene. When we'll start tracking in Grabber, the script will scan the character and look for what is included in the face entity set to animate these elements. In the Inspector panel on the right, you can see the name of the script, the version number and the IP address and port to get the animation data from Grabber. If you want to use a different computer to do the tracking and another one to do the rendering, you'll have to fill the IP address on the machine Grabber is running on. By default, the animation port is 5559, but it can be changed in the Grabber network settings, which we'll be seeing later. There are also several options listed in the inspector. Auto-connect, auto-reconnect are options to define whether you want the script to automatically connect to Grabber, or if you prefer to trigger the connection manually. The Use GUI box indicates that if you want to display the control panel on the scene when the scene is playing, which we'll be showing later. Below is a set of specific options to adjust the animation. For example, the order of the axes. This info varies from one character to the other. It usually depends on the software you use to create your rig. Here in Unity, green is Y, blue is Z, red is X. Our software grabber has its own XYZ references. That is why we added options to be compatible with other softwares. Here I'll invert the X axis as I've exported my character from Maya. These are the main axes for facial animation that are different from the one from the head rotation. Head orientation can only be used if you're using the free head mode in Performer. My 3D model in Unity is ready to get animated. So now let's start Grabber. I start Grabber and then go under the project menu and select Open Performer 2 RT Project. I'll get back to the folder where I previously exported the profiles and upload the file with the DAM3 extension. Here I will be using one camera. It will be my webcam. So I select one camera layout and my webcam in the devices. This button is the one that starts the real-time tracking. So let's click on it. You can see now that I'm getting tracked in real-time with the profile I just exported. Be aware that the lighting conditions are very important. You should get closest conditions in which you shot the frames from the tracking profile. To send the animation data to Unity, we must check the network parameters by going into the network menu and select service options. Under Retargeter, make sure that the streaming animation is checked. Grabber will send the entity set information through the network using the port defined here. Make sure to use the same port number in the Unity script previous. Go back to Unity, click on Play to launch the scene. I am now animating my character with my face in real time. If the tracking goes wrong, I can reset it by clicking on the blue arrow here in Grabber. In case you export a different retargeting profiles from Performer, you will be able to enable or disable them using the two masks button. 
This can be used, for instance, to animate multiple characters at the same time. To do so, just add the previous script on all the characters in your scene and select the different port for each of them. To know which port to set for each character, keep in mind that the base port defined in Grabber will be associated to the first profile or character, and for every following profile, just add its position in the list to the base port. For instance, if the base port is 5559, Grabber will stream the animation data for the second character on the port 5560, and for the third one it will be 5561, and so on. That's all for the tracking facial motion capture in Unity. If you want to learn more about our options available in Grabber and Grabber Enhanced, check out our tutorials dedicated to this software.